Day is the first day of school for students at Gordon Parks Elementary School. In May, officials took away the school's charter, but school officials recently won a court battle to keep the school open. Jenna Hanchard is there now with a few more challenges still facing the school. Jenna? Good morning, Cynthia. Well, late last month, the state ruled that this school could actually stay open. So it was definitely a joyous day for many of the parents, students in this school. But there are additional challenges that this school is going to face. Most of the staff didn't return to the school. They were able to hold on to three of the teachers from last school year, and then they had to hire additional teachers. A total of 80 students are enrolled here. Many of the students at this school, they typically have to overcome difficult home situations. Many of them don't know when or where they're going to. To get their next meal or where they will be picked up to go to school. So today, school is supposed to start at 8:15, but the last bus arrived at 9 o'clock in the morning. School leaders say it's one of the many challenges they face with families in transition. Transportation is a is a difficult issue. Um, our our children live in cars. Some of them are homeless. Other live in temporary housing, and we have several families. Who last night uh, they had to actually leave their transitional housing, so they didn't know where they were going to be sleeping last night or where we'd be able to pick their children up. So you can see the stress for a child who's going to sleep, looking forward to the first day of school, but not knowing where they were going to wake up. Well, the state still has about a week to appeal the decision to reopen Gordon Parks Elementary, and school leaders tell me that would absolutely be devastating for the school community if that were to go forward. Reporting live at Gordon Parks Elementary, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News.